working on doing a projection map for our pumpkin patch here too with the scarecrow. We'll use the jack o' lantern jamboree pumpkins. So what I'm doing here now is a different way of doing the map. Uh, rather than the digital press work one, I'm doing a, a live mapping with Adobe After Effects here. So what we're doing here, and there's a good video I can link to uh, another Jeff that just did a video on how to do this that explained it in great detail. So I'll put a link to that because he does a great job in diving into the details, but we're using his method to, to map these pumpkins. So you can see it over there live as we're doing it on the screen. Just lining up those circles and then adjusting the map a little. Okay. So we're going to scoot that one up just a little. Scoot that in. That one's pretty close already. The bottom left one you can see uh, has a pumpkin I went ahead and added to it. I haven't done pumpkins on the other ones yet. There we got a spider. Looks like I need to rotate it. The spider's going sideways. This is starting to look kind of Christmassy with these colors on these pumpkins though. Not Halloween-y. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's our inferno skeleton. So this would look pretty cool with the Jack Lantern Jamborees singing, telling jokes, making faces right in front of the Great Pumpkin. And there we go. We've got them all mapped. So we're going to put the put more Jack O' Lanterns in now, but we got the basics. And the, the one challenge that we're probably going to have is the, there's enough distance between the pumpkins on the bottom and the top that if we get the ones on the bottom nice and focused with this projector the ones up on the top are going to be a little blurry so we'll probably just focus for the ones in the middle and then it won't be quite as crisp but it'll hopefully be good enough so yeah, I'm excited to put the faces to the rest of these now